All right. So here we have a concave mirror, and Brian over there is filming it, and uh, you can see him. Uh, it should he should be upright. Uh, sorry, not upright, but upside down, actually. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to walk over to him gradually, and you will see that at some point of time, his image should be should become upright. It will be quite close to the camera. So taken, and Brian is going to help me out so that um, the, his image is still on here, the camera. And so I'm okay. You are still there, all right. And so you can see that the image size is changing, and I'm very close to the camera. And right there, somewhere, he should be upright already. You see that? Okay, very good. So that's basically you can do a rest, ray tracing to see exactly where he becomes upright. So I'll just go back to my original position from here uh, back back there. Okay. And um, I'll stop right here, put it here. And the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get a convex mirror. And in this case, I think we don't expect anything to change. As you can see, this is a common mirror that uh, you see on the roadside for traffic. Uh, we sometimes use so that when the car comes from another side, we can see it. So I'm going to just simply walk over to him. As you can see that the image becomes larger and larger, but it's virtual actually. So right there, it's virtual image. You can't really project it on a screen or anything like that. And that's basically what a convex mirror should work like. So anyway, that's basically it. It's a small demonstration of a concave mirror and a convex mirror. In addition to the, with the lab we did with the optical bench, you have a little bit of idea about these mirrors and also the lenses, convex and concave. Okay, I'll see you in class. Take care.